I don't know how many more of these I've got in me. <laughs> this girl's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the altitude. We're out of breath just walking around, so definitely climbing some rocks takes it out of you. I was out of breath walking through that line to get the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> in the driver's seat. <laughs> I'd say we'll get there faster. <laughs> if we get there at all. If you wanted to, she's all or nothing. <laughs> if you want to complain, you can drive. I'm, not, I'm just joking around. That's all you do when you're riding shotgun. You just sit here and relax and goof off. Right? Critique. Yep. It took us forever to get out of the door this morning. Partly because we're going to Pikes Peak, um, which means you have to pack for multiple temperatures. <laughs> Anywhere from uh, 90 to 40, I guess. You gotta bring your uh, bathing suit and your uh, snow boots. <laughs> Are you having flashbacks? <laughs> it's days after we did that incline. I woke up this morning and could still barely walk. <laughs> thing haunts me in my sleep. <laughs> well, it's obviously best if you could get here early in the morning, which it's 1046, but we had over an hour drive, so. <laughs> Because again, we could not find a place close to here. Uh, it's kind of been the theme. So then it kind of puts us getting late everywhere we go, and then we run into more lines and crowd. Hopefully it's going to be a good day. It looks nice so far. Yeah, I think the weather will be good. You definitely don't want to come when the weather's kind of iffy because I've read that you can't see very much. Heading 14,115 feet elevation, so I can feel it. So, this is the Crystal Reservoir uh, Visitor Center. I think everybody's ready to like stretch their legs for a minute. My legs are still killing me from that incline. Oh, that hurts so bad. So there's the summit, all the way up there. We're almost there. We got a little ways to go. Colorado Springs is barely not a desert. Uh, if you get 10 inches of rain or less per year, it's considered a desert. Colorado Springs gets 15. So the city of Colorado Springs relies on, you know, the melted snow from the mountains for a lot of their water from places like this. It's crazy beautiful. It is, it's very beautiful. Kenzie's spoiling you with ice cream already. She's been here two days. Go beach at the beach. <laughs> You're never gonna forget that, are you? That looks pretty good. There's frozen. prettiest drives we've ever been on. There's just mountains and rocks and depth and we're almost in the clouds. We're so high. Starting to see snow. Yeah. It's getting cooler as we're coming up. It's absolutely breathtaking.
Time to bundle up a little bit. So I can definitely feel the elevation. <laughs> it took us an hour to get up here. Yeah, it's kind of like a, what would you compare the sickness to? Just feel like car sick and kind of a headache. We've been trying to drink lots of water. So I think we're just gonna sit for a minute and try drinking some water. Try not to get elevation sickness. <laughs> so there is a railway uh, you can take. It's uh, what, 38 bucks? I think so. Instead of, uh, it's about 12 bucks a piece if you could take the car versus 38 if you take the railway. Or $40 a car up to five people. Advantages, disadvantages of each, from what we understand at least. Uh, the railway, of course, you don't have to worry about driving. You get to ride, you get to relax. Uh, it does cost more. But then you get into the disadvantages of when you get to the top. I know Marissa read, I think, what it takes. I think you're only here for 30 minutes, so you're kind of at more of their pace instead of your own pace. And if you're wanting to, you know, look around, they're known for their donuts, which I'm hoping we can check out, depending check on the out. line. <laughs> um, you, you know, you might or might not get to spend as much time as you wanted. So that's kind of why we opted to drive it. And you don't get to make the stops along the way, too. We're going to make a couple more stops, I think. Um, but, you know, there's pros and cons of each. Depends on what kind of vehicle you got. You get a really cool situation. Yeah. I mean, you're literally going up the mountain as opposed to taking the, the curvy roads. You're, you're climbing the mountain, so that's kind of cool, too. I think I'm really starting to love your sister coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering, Hensley is with her sister. She's not uh, roaming down the mountain riding a goat or something. <laughs> It's nice to have family come along on our trips, just, you know, because we miss them, and then it does, uh, Hensley loves it so much, and then it's a nice little break for us, too. I'm not generally a fan of anything that says world famous. I'm almost always underwhelmed, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Daddy, sit down. Oh, we should have packed the lunch. 26 bucks. <laughs> It's really fried. It tastes like those white powdered sugar donuts without the powdered sugar and kind of crispier, but it's got the same flavor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Hensley doesn't eat it. Yeah, I think if you could put something on the donut, it would be pretty good. <laughs> like some powdered sugar or chocolate or. We can think of any number of things to put on these. The train's leaving. So we double checked on the train. Um, we read it was 30, but it's actually about 45 minutes, which we talked to a guy. He's like, that is not nearly enough time. The train showed up when we got here, and we just went to the bathroom and ate, and they're already leaving. So, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of time to see the view. <laughs> Yeah. If it's lunch time and you need to do you need to do those things, so Yeah. Looks like we're hanging out here. <laughs> it does look uh it does look beautiful from underneath this uh awning. After she saw this place, this gave her the inspiration to write America the Beautiful. So, I can definitely see where the inspiration came from. B H H L. Yeah. Along 
the way the drive up there are some awesome stop offs I definitely did not factor that into how much time it would take us hence why I did not pack a lunch and I totally regret it but factor that in we're gonna climb this <laughs> back he's like go to sleep okay that's the plan <laughs> the mandatory brake check. Good job, Nathan. Pikes Peak is absolutely beautiful. It's a 19 mile highway up to the clouds. When I think of Colorado, this is exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> the ride up was so awesome because it was your first time seeing it and just have never seen anything like that before it was just amazing and so i kind of thought the way down wouldn't be as great but it was it was just as good if not better seeing everything from a different view on the way down i'm gonna keep cruising along in a low gear get us off the mountain and uh tomorrow somewhere new <laughs> <laughs> 